going somewhere. Oh, I was worried. Well, even I can't get into too much trouble scoring paracetamol and tissues from a corner shop. I thought you'd gone looking for Lucas. Well, I had a long, sweaty night to think about it, and there are a few glitches, I'll give you that. I'm sorry about yesterday. I shouldn't have lost it with the social worker. God, I'm sure she's seen a lot worse. Oh, stop it. Huh? It's not you, it's Ryan. Smothering me with kindness, being nice. He practically taught me off the ceiling yesterday. I swear you only did it to make me look bad. Oh, so you've finally seen through our cunning ploy. I might be a record, but I'm not stupid. If I get Lucas away from his foster family, where are we going to go? They'll have him off me in five minutes. Look, let's get you warmed up and get some breakfast in you. I might get my head down. I didn't sleep well last night. Um, and you've got parishioners that need parishioning. <laughs> I'll be better after a kip. Look, we'll just have to start again, build the business back up from scratch. With what? There's no slush fund. How are things with you and Nicola? Oh, we're putting on a civil front for the kids. Well, can't she get back in at the factory full time? She's a partner, isn't she? They can't say no. At least then you'll have some more money coming in. I don't know, Robert. You seem to know my wife better than I do. You tell me. Mm. Just a woman. Please tell me you can do something with these. Moving house wrecks your nails, yeah? Yeah, I'm sure we can fit you in. Oh, great. Desperate for some girly time. Mm. No offence taken. Uh, just give us a call and we'll put something in the diary. Lovely, thank you. Ah, work. Don't be late tonight, guys. We've got some celebrating to do. <laughs> I'll settle up then. Bye, darling. What's up with you? Have you noticed that much stuff she's got? You know, like a zillion pairs of shoes. Well, says you. Anyway, I thought you were on board. I am. Well, I was. I... She was really weird with me yesterday when I picked up one of her precious boxes. I was only trying to help. Well, it probably had all of her personal stuff in it. So? Well, there's no need to flip out, is there? Wait, me, my phone didn't go off. Oh, you look so peaceful lying there. I was going to get the papers done and come back upstairs for a cuddle. <laughs> well, you're incorrigible, David Metcalf. <laughs> and I'm not staying over tonight. You're a bad influence. Oh, well, that's a shame, cos I had something extra spicy planned. <sighs> Victoria's doing a curry night at the Woolly. Thought it might be a giggle. Hmm. We'll see. See how much trouble I get into for being late, shall we? Oops. <laughs> Are you? You're going to miss the bus for school. I'm just getting a juice. You do this every single morning. Get up five minutes earlier in future. And I hope you don't get in too much trouble. I'll write your note if you want. <laughs> so you're not talking to me now? What's there to say? Look, why don't I take you to school? We can talk. We never get that chance. Nah, you're all right. I'll get the boss. I thought you'd be down the job centre. I've been. Dropped the kids off and then went and debased myself in front of Jasleen. Some 12-year-old sadist with braces and a badge and precisely no jobs. Now I'm making your favourite, Gammon and Leek. Oh, right, well, that makes everything right then. All is forgiven, we're having a pie. Jimmy... Don't! Don't even start! I don't want to hear it. That was my family business that me and my dad and my brothers built up from scratch. And now we've got nothing. Less than nothing. We could be out on the streets because of you, and not just you and me, all of us. And I don't want to hear your excuses and your justifications that you, you're telling me you were desperate and that you did it for your arm. I did. You risked everything we had and it all blew up in your face because you're never satisfied. Nothing's ever enough. Hi. I don't, want, I don't want to interrupt. I know you're working. No, I can use some distractions. I'm getting nowhere fast with that anyway. <laughs> I, uh, I just want to say thanks for you talking to Dawn, getting to see some sense. Yeah, well, I'm really good at talking about other people's lives. Mm. 
I know it was a huge shock, and I don't blame her for being upset, but, you know, we, we have to think about Lucas first. If there's a chance that he can find a forever home, somewhere where he's safe and happy and cared for, maybe that's the best thing for him. A forever home? They want him to be adopted. She didn't tell me anything about that. She was going on ranting about how my life was a mess. I told her she needed to get a grip, take control. I wouldn't have said half of that stuff if I knew about an adoption. And then starting on the outside of the eye, we're just going to wipe it across in a round formation. Hey, it's a bit temperamental, but it does the job. Thanks. I would have brought over sooner, but we've been put out at the vets. Is all this yours? Uh, no, Chess. Let me borrow some of your old stuff. I've been watching tutorials, seeing what I've been missing out on. And? Well, it looks all right on them, but I look a bit like a clown. <gasps> well, it takes practice. I'm just trying to show willing, that's all. I've got, um, this... I don't want to call it a date. Really? I didn't think you were into any of that. I know, um, but it turns out I do have some sort of feelings for someone. I think I sort of like Jacob. OK. Well, lucky Jacob. He doesn't know yet. But I wanted to tell him when he comes round tonight, but I don't know what I'd be telling him, if that makes sense. You don't have to rush anything. I know. I do like him more than a friend. I just don't know exactly how. Anyway, he'll, he'll run a mile, so that'll be the end of that. I feel like I've taken over all of your space. But it will be fine. It's about time I had a good purge. <laughs> There's plenty of stuff that can go to the charity shop. Mm, I didn't realise quite how much stuff I had. We'll work it out. Look, stop ruining the magical moment. Key to the kingdom. <laughs> Is she? I love it. Hey. Thank you. Right. I'm going to get the bill. No arguments. You paid this morning. Could I have an orange juice, please, Victoria? And a lime and soda? Put theirs on the bill, please. In the chair, are you? Um, Your card's been knocked back. Really? It was working fine yesterday. Maybe it's our machine. Every now and then it gets a bit glitchy. It's OK, I can settle up. No, no, absolutely not. Um, so, you go and sit down, I'll bring the drinks over. Here, try this one. Worst comes to the worst, I'm a great washer-upper. <laughs> I thought you were going to Corrie night. Yeah, we are. I don't know if we can be bothered, you know. We'll have to see if Victoria will do as a takeout. Yeah, sure. I'll go and get your slippers and your pipe and all. Grandad! Great, I'll just go to my room. It's like being inside again. All right. We know you've got to study. You did say you were going to give me some peace and quiet. Fine. You know where we're not wired. Yeah, come on, let's go. I was going to get her a doggy bag, but don't want to distract her. Take it easy. Enjoy. She does well. I hope she does really well. And maybe me and you can pack it in and be kept in lives of luxury. <laughs> I think we're a few years off that, yeah. All right. Yeah. It's going to be a while before we can earn a sort of cash money for another baby. Hopefully, Vic will do us a discount on these curries, eh? <laughs> Should sort us out. Thanks. 
And thanks for coming to see me, especially after yesterday. We've only got ten minutes, I'm afraid, but I'm glad you reached out. I didn't properly take things in yesterday. All I heard was that you wanted to take Lucas away from me and that I won't get to see him again. We talked about starting the process of applying for a placement order. But it's not a done deal, is it? I've, I've still got time. What can I do to stop it from happening? Of course, you're within your rights to contest the current plans. But I should say, it's Lucas's needs that will be at the forefront of any decisions. You need to think carefully about whether you're capable of providing stable care long-term for Lucas. Oh! Oh, God, oh. I am so sorry. It's all right. It's fine. Where's the loo? Uh, it's, it's that way. Oh. Sorry, I'm always so clumsy. My dad used to say there's no point getting me anything nice because I, I couldn't look after it properly. It doesn't matter, it's only coffee. I've had plenty today, you've probably done me a favour. They're definitely not coming back yet, are they? No, they'll be gone for hours. I told them I need to concentrate on my college work, so they're basically barred from their own home. Which gives me plenty of time to ruin you on this. Yeah, right, you can try. I own you! Hey, that's cheating! Oh, you're such a sore loser. <laughs> you wanna play dirty, dear? Oh, stop it! <laughs> Who's the loser now? <laughs> I'm sorry, Liv, I was just messing about. I'm fine. I'm fine. Just some people do anything to win, won't they? Why haven't you been answering your phone? It's probably out of juice. Why? What's the problem? I've been worrying. Oh, why don't you just have me chipped and be done with it? I'm sure Ron will do it for a fiver. I've been speaking to Ryan. All right. You told me he'd talked you down, made you think twice about doing anything stupid. He did. But you didn't tell him there was talk of Lucas being adopted. So? So you're playing fast and loose with the truth, and I need you to level with me. This isn't a game, Dawn. I'm trying to look after you, to do what's best for everybody, and I can't do that unless you're straight with me. You're not my mum, Harriet. You can't flip out every time I get the bus into town. It isn't every time, is it? And these are special circumstances. Yeah, about me and my son. You need to back off. You're freaking me out. I, I need space to breathe. I don't know, I'm, I'm starting to like you. Really like you. And, it, and it's totally fine if you don't like me back. I don't even... I don't even know what I'm saying to you, really. You know, I've, I've not got this big plan. This is all this is all brand new to me. I don't even... But I thought you didn't have feelings for people like that. I don't. But... With you, it's... It's different. It's easy. I don't know, I feel sort of... Comfortable. Well, I was going to say normal, but... <laughs> yeah, comfortable works. You know what? It doesn't matter. Let's just forget us anything. It does matter. Of course it matters. I feel comfortable around you too. But I don't even know what I'm asking for, really. I just... I know that I think you're all right. I just want to know if we can maybe be something together more than friends, you know? Here we go, one chicken boona and one lamb madras. Oh, I'll put them anywhere. <coughs> Here me, you'll fat make the lot. Oh, I'll be with you in a minute. Oh, 
do you know what? I've suddenly lost my appetite. Denise, please, can we not just talk? I don't want to talk to you. You're my sister. Yeah, more's the pity. Oh, don't. I can't handle anyone else having a go at me, Robert. Yeah, I'm fully aware what an awful excuse for a human being I am. I reckon I can give you a run for your money on a good day. Take it Jimmy hasn't got to the acceptance and forgiveness stage yet, then. I don't think we're coming back from this. <sighs> Come on, don't be daft. You're the dream team. Why are you being so nice? I screwed you over and all, remember? Yeah, because Graham had you by the short and curlies. But we all went into this with our eyes open, knowing the risks. Just... I'm sorry things got so nasty. But come on. I've been where you are now more than once. Everyone hating on you. No one giving you the time of day. It's grim. But you're like me, Nicola. You're not going to let it drag you under with survivors. And come the nuclear winter, it'll be me, you, and all the cockroaches all having the time of our lives. So go on, get yourself back to work. Prove to Jimmy that all you've ever wanted to do is to provide for your family. And then you can't stay mad at you forever, can he? Hey, you. Don't eat all of them. Save some for the party. <laughs> right, well, I was hoping you'd be a little bit more helpful. I have banked with you since I was 18. But if that's your policy, then I suppose I'll have to live with it, won't I? Thanks very much for your time. <clears throat> Problems? No, nothing to worry about. Nothing a large glass of bubbly can't fix. <laughs> Great. Well, let's get the party started. Uh, who's going to help me operate the new sound system? Dad! That was, it's that simple. We've shown you loads of times. Just humour me. Walk me through it one more time. Somebody, please. Go on. Ha! <laughs> ha! <laughs> Unlucky. Very nice, especially for someone who's just had the card knocked back. <laughs> Jane, could we just keep that between ourselves? It was a technical glitch. Please don't embarrass me in front of your father. It's supposed to be a party. Come on, you two. Never mind hiding out in the kitchen. <laughs> Get your dancing shoes on. <laughs> Are you all right with colour, then? Yeah. I think so. Yeah. I just don't want to do that other stuff. Well, that's all right. You don't have to. Yeah, sometimes I feel like I should just give it a try. But then I think, no, because it's not me, is it? I don't think that's because I've not met the right person or I've, I've not blossomed into a woman yet. I just... I just don't want to. Is that weird? No weirder than your taste in music. Ha ha. <laughs> oh, so you don't think I'm broken, then? Liv, you're one of the nicest people I know. Mind you, that's not saying much. Yeah, it just... If me and you gave this a shot, I wouldn't want you to feel like you were missing out. As long as you're all right with it, then that's OK with me. I think it's really brave of you to own it. And if more people were honest about what they wanted, I think the world would be a better place. Why did you make us order so much food? Oh, yeah, that was all down to me, that. Oh, it's all down to Speedy Gonzalez. We all like a vindaloo. <laughs> it's all right for you. You've been in your deli all day and your fancy cheeses. I am going to get the table. Can you get me a wine? Sure. Any good? Uh, yeah, I've had worse. Didn't fancy bringing Liv with you, then? Mm. She's at home studying. Oh, right. Why? Oh, no. No, it's none of my business. Ignore me. What's none of your business? Well, you do know that Jacob's there, right? Buffed to within an inch of his life. Well, they're clearly on a date. <laughs> Don't. What do you think you're playing at? Get up now! Aaron, we, we weren't. It's not, it's not what it looks like. Oh, was it not? So why lie to me about all the college work and needing absolute peace and quiet then? Because I knew you'd be like this! Hey, hey, it's no biggie, is it? Why doesn't everyone just calm down? We're just watching a film. Oh, were you? Well, I managed to do that sitting up. 
Listen, you might have been able to do it to Gabby, but you're not using my little sister, do you understand me? Now get out! Oh, what? Move! What are you gonna do? You're gonna push me out of the way as well? Think about what you're doing. This is just gonna make her like him even more. Move, get out! He can't do this, Robert! Oh, looks like he just has. Stay away from her, all right? Will you just get off me? Aaron, leave him. He's a teenager. No, he's not. He's a liar and a user. Don't want him anywhere near her. All right. Just go. How could you do that to me? I'm trying to protect you. The only person I need protecting from is you. I'll never forgive you for this. It's the return of the life transforming this time next year. Tonight and Davina is kicking off the series with a weight loss special at 8. And don't miss our amazing new travel log from the wonderful Martin Clunes, travelling around the islands of America. Set a reminder for 9.